Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for another Outer Limits Review. Today I will be talking about Season 1, Episode 4, The Man with the Power, directed by Laszlo Benedict and starring Donald Pleasance and Priscilla Morrow. And Man with the Power was another solid episode. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Maybe my favorite of the first four episodes, if not pretty close. Uh, it has a very good lead performance from Donald Pleasance. I thought the episode was well-paced and had another nice thought-provoking uh, message to it. It's not a perfect episode, which I'll get into throughout my review. I did have a few issues here and there. But overall, I think The Man with the Power is an episode that holds up pretty well and is well worth watching. So we start with a man. Uh, he's in bed and he's attacked by an unknown force. It looks kind of like an, uh, a cloud of energy to me. I'm not sure what they were going for, but the special effects are decent enough. But anyway, this is before the opening credits and it's a nice attention-getting technique to... Uh, see what's going to happen to this man who's being attacked by an unknown force. So then after the credits, we're introduced to our main character, Harold Finley, and uh, he seems flustered, he seems to be driving, and uh, these two men are working, they're blocking his way, they want him to go around, but it turns out these two men get attacked and uh, eliminated by the same energy force that we saw at the beginning of the episode. It also seems like Harold caused this, but uh, it doesn't really seem like he's aware that he did this, at least not yet. So at this point, Harold goes home, uh, and we meet his wife, Vera, and uh, she's kind of an irritating uh, character, and uh, her character is one of my issues with this episode, which I'll get into more. It turns out that Harold has a job as a teacher, but uh, he's kind of tired of it. He feels like he's not accomplishing much for some reason, and instead he wants to go work for the uh, space program. Uh, but Vera, his wife, uh, doesn't seem too interested in uh, what Harold's interests are at this point. So... Harold goes to visit this space agency about a job. It turns out they need help. Um, it turns out that the help uh, can come from Harold because he can move some objects with his mind. Uh, with this device, he had some kind of surgery, and this device was actually put into his head. He calls it a link gate. There's a lot of exposition here, which isn't too bad, and tries to explain this whole thing. But uh, in my opinion, it's not really that important to the plot. But it was okay. Always nice to get some kind of explanation. So, uh... It turns out the men in the space station uh, need Harold to experiment more with this power because they want to put this same device into the brain of an astronaut and uh, use this to their advantage in space, uh, which is kind of interesting. Then we're introduced to a Dr. Hindeman who's in uh, parts of the episode throughout, and he warns Harold that there could be issues with this kind of power and it could affect him in uh, some strange and unusual ways, which is kind of a warning to uh, what's going to happen as the episode goes on. So, at this point, we're back to Harold and Vera again, and uh, Harold basically tells Vera all that's going on. Uh, she gives him a hard time again and really doesn't seem too interested in what's going on. We can see that Harold's very upset by this, that his wife doesn't support him more. The scene was okay, I guess. So, um, at this point, Harold goes to the college where he works. He's trying to get out of his contract. The man in charge there, a dean, who's, who's kind of an irritating character, in my opinion, won't let him go. He says, you can't get out of your contract. I guess Harold couldn't just quit. That was my first thought, but I guess you just got to go with it. So anyway, he also tells Harold that he can't work uh, at the space program on the side. I thought this was kind of weird what the guy does in his free time. Why would the dean care about that or be able to dictate that. Maybe it was in the contract. I'm not really sure. This whole thing seemed like a plot contrivance to me, but I guess you just have to go with it. So at this point, uh, the Dean gets a scare when Harold uses his uh, electrical powers and like part of the ceiling comes down, but the Dean uh, moves out of the way, I guess, uh, we're led to believe. So uh, we get to see Harold back in action at the space station and he's gaining more control of his powers. Um, we're also introduced to Steve, the astronaut that's volunteered to have the procedure done. He chats with Harold. They seem to get along very, very well. And Harold even seems to respect him because he feels like this guy Steve has gotten a lot of uh, accomplished um, pretty early on in his life. So uh, Harold brings Steve home for dinner, but Vera, being the crabby person she is, isn't really interested in Steve or anything else other than washing her windows. She's uh, pretty irritating in this scene. So eventually Harold gets upset, and once again, without knowing it, he knocks Vera down like off of um, the ladder she's on to wash the windows with his electricity cloud, and she like hurts her foot or ankle or... Uh, or something. So at this point, as if Harold doesn't have enough problems, the dean calls him 
uh, back and tells Harold, you know, you've been neglecting your duties because Harold wasn't really teaching. He's been at the uh, Space Center. So, and this guy is really crabby, this Dean, uh, but he says, you know, he wants Harold to continue doing his work. So, at this point, the Dean is ready to go to bed, and we actually see the scene from the beginning of the episode. We now know where it fits in, which was interesting enough. It turns out that uh, Harold creates this uh, energy cloud again over the Dean, and he actually, like, kind of disintegrates the Dean. The guy just disappears after he's hit with the electricity. The special effect was, was pretty decent, actually. So, at this point, Harold goes to visit the scene because he had an appointment with the Dean the next morning to talk things over again. The Dean's wife is describing what happened. And you can tell that Harold is starting to think that maybe he had something to do with this at this point. So, at this point, Harold goes to talk to Dr. Hindeman again, and after they chat, Harold learns that his powers could indeed be used for bad purposes, and he pretty much figures out everything that's going on. So he talks to his wife, Vera, again, and uh, he confesses. He says, I killed the dean. I'm the one who hurt you. At first, she doesn't believe it. She tries to, like, call the hospital. Uh, I'm not sure if she thinks he's crazy or what, but she calls Harold a nobody, which is... Uh, really harsh. Harold gets upset. This, of course, starts up his powers again, but Harold realizes before it's too late and stops his powers before Vera gets hurt badly. But now Vera is very afraid, which is understandable, and uh, she says she feels guilty, but I'm not sure if she really regrets what she's done or if she's actually just afraid of Harold or maybe a little bit of both. But I thought this felt like kind of a plot device. It Felt kind of contrived and out of nowhere. All of a sudden, Vera realizes everything she's done. I get what the episode was going for, but it just felt uh, rushed and didn't really work for me. Others might find it to their satisfaction. So at this point, Harold goes to visit Steve and asks him to call off the procedure, but Steve won't listen to him. Uh, so Harold decides to... Uh, try a different approach. He goes to talk to the doctors, the men in charge, and ask them to call off the procedure, but they won't listen either. They even drug Harold so that he won't interfere with anything, but they don't do a very good job of it because Harold does interfere. He uh, causes some more um, energy to appear. He zaps a few more people with some pretty good special effects for the time period, I have to say. And then he ultimately comes to the conclusion that he's a danger to... Um, himself and everyone else, so he tragically does himself in. So, definitely uh, a sad ending to this episode, which I thought worked. I thought it did have an impact. And like I said, the man with the power has a solid message that's still uh, relevant today. I just feel like there were um, a few plot contrivances that didn't work, but overall, The Man with the Power is another strong episode, and I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Definitely another episode I recommend to for fans of the series and just fans of classic science fiction. So three and a half out of five for the man with the power. And as always, thank you very much for watching.